How to make money online as a teenager. I love this conversation and given our digital age we're in, there is no excuses for you teens who are really probably better at a lot of this digital and technical uh, use and uh, your ability to use this more than your parents. I know it's true in my family. My kids are way better at this device than I am. So you have a lot of opportunities to make money as a teen. The three things I wanna talk about are teaching you some of the business skills and then what do you do with the money once you make it? There's a huge piece of that that a lot of you kids, you make it, spend it, make it, spend it, which gets into that that adult pattern of being broke. So how do you modify that? And then what can you do? Where do you go to make money online? And then number two, what are the tax implications and the earning, the maximum earning without having to actually file a tax return? How do you do that? And then number three, just the importance of financial responsibility and mindset. We're gonna give you a couple softwares that you need to go get. Uh, one is actually a bank that's gonna encourage you to be an entrepreneur, make money online. And the other one is how do you invest money online? So uh, stay to the end and I'm gonna give you those two softwares as a free gift for listening today. So what I've talked about in all my books, right, all six, especially the latest one, Make Your Kids Millionaires, is the 21st century lemonade stand. So all of you, I mean, three and four years old is how young my kids were at starting to make money. Now they were just doing like little things and, you know, from little art projects to, you know, paper wallets to a smoothie stand to a typical lemonade stand, things like that. But what could you do? right, to really start making some money online. Those of you that are a little more advanced, you could do a Shopify store. And like we just started a Shopify store with a bunch of merchandise. There, how many companies have that opportunity for you to then lean in and say, I wanna be your digital marketer. I wanna do a Shopify store for your hair salon, for your nail salon. You could also just start designing jewelry. I've got a lot of uh, kids that do jewelry and uh, different things that they wanna build, put out on Etsy. Believe it or not, crocheting and quilting is coming into this next little generation. So what can you do to put something online to sell and then just do the good old basic thing, right? That one of my uh, old partners, Jim and I used to talk about, I mean, just go clean out your house and whether it's an online garage sale through Craigslist or eBay, however you want to get rid of a bunch of stuff. Uh, but there's tons of ways to make money online. My favorite probably is to go locally in town to brick and mortars that don't have great websites, don't have a good social media presence and be that for them. Small fee every month. You can start making a monthly income by being an entrepreneur. So obviously anything in the digital marketing space or or just the online shopping space is gonna be phenomenal. Amazon resellers, you're gonna need some capital to actually start that a little bit, but that's still an opportunity to actually be able to do that. And the one that I really wanna share with you is online ads. There are so many small businesses who do not know how to do Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Instagram ads. You get good at those things, you're gonna make tons of money online. Now, how much money can you make, number two, without having a big tax implication? So you don't have to file taxes to $12,550. So if you make more than than that, which is a little over a thousand a month, I'd say go for it. Why not? Who cares if you have to file a little tax return? Your parents will do it or they're going to help you do it or will help you do it. But 12550 is your maximum limit where you do not have to file a tax return. Now, what do you do with the money when you get it? Personally, I would have a personal banking account and then I would have a business bank account. So you keep track of your business money and your income separately from whatever other kind of money you might be making you know, with your family or things like that, just your own other uh, checking account. I want you also to pay attention to cost of goods, right? Because the uh, cost of goods are written off, they're deductible. Now, for those of you who have more sophistication and your parents are willing to really support you, I want your parents, 18 and older, to get an LLC or an S Corp or a C Corp, get a company. Because then through the company, you can actually do a lot of legal deductions. So then you can write this off, you can write your computer off, you can write your softwares off, you can write off video editing equipment, you can write off an entire studio, all this stuff becomes deductible. If you're 16, you can start writing off part of your car. If you're going to drive to different gigs and do social media shoots and things like that. So now you have a deduction strategy against that 12555, you know, zero. So it gets a little fun if you want to live corporate life. And I'm going to give you a gift right now. It's called asklaurel.com forward slash TMI 60. It's just a quick 60 minute video teaching you how to live corporate life. And some of you teenagers are going to go, mom and dad, you need to be paying attention to this and living corporate life too. So make sure you grab that gift and share it. And while you're here, subscribe to my channel, click that notification button. I want you here five days a week. There's so much I have to teach you from starting young to then growing into becoming a millionaire and then a multi, multi-millionaire in many industries. But you gotta start putting that pattern of money away properly. So while you're there, please share this with five or 10 other friends that wanna be more entrepreneurial. And uh, you know, a whole other category I just thought of that you all could do is uh, music. 
Like a lot of you kids actually do know how to make music and you could do um, a Spotify store and you could go up, you could do podcasts. There's all sorts of ways that you can make money online. So think through what are your skill sets? What do you enjoy to do? And how could you put a revenue model, meaning how much money can you make per week, per day, per month in your new ventures? You can all make money. You can all do it online, offline. You just got to begin because a job is not the place you need to get your money from. You can do that later in life. Right now, be a small entrepreneur and be a teenage entrepreneur. So again, anything you wanna do online from a Shopify store, Spotify store, go do a podcast, get an Etsy store, uh, work for other companies, do other social media posting, do their ads, like figure out what gets you interested out there. Another category I just thought of is writing and editing. You know, a lot of these websites don't have good copy. So you could do some writing and editing and get paid for that. So a lot of ways to make money online. Let's talk about the financial responsibility. In my opinion, up until you're 18 years old and you're walking out the door or eight to whatever age you walk out of the door of those parents, I my our rule in our house is all the money you make, you put 50% away into investing. So I'm gonna give you one of the softwares It's called iFlip. So 50% of everything they make. So if one of my kids makes a thousand a month, they put 500 into iFlip and then they could put it into a smart folio that takes their stock trades in and out of the market upon the market variant. So you're not taking these big dips that a lot of these financial planners allow you to do. You're actually going to get in and out of the market using iFlip. And then as you make money, I want to invite you to grab another software and it's actually a bank. It's a digital bank called Gravy Stack. And I'm a huge part of it. Um, you get a debit card and you get to allocate your money. So again, it's another way to start saying how much money money do I want to do to make per month doing missions and gigs? I also call them tasks. So as you make that money, then there's these three pipes. How much is going to go into your spend account, which is going to be associated to your debit card? How much is going to go into your save invest account, which would go to iFlip? if you allocate it that way. And then there's a share, which is what do you do to give some contribution and charity? So as a kid, you could do 5%, 10% to charity, however you wanna do that. But investing, I have a hard rule. You can do what you want with the first 50%, but the last 50%, the second 50%, in fact, I put it first, is gotta be to investing to grow your wealth for later years. So if you have any questions at any time, go to asklaurel.com, A-S-K-L-O-R-A-L, ask a question, make a request, and we'll be back tomorrow with more content.